What's up? Welcome back to Modern Traders. I'm Ben, be your host. Before we get started, I'm going to invite you over to the free Discord. We do have daily watch lists and call outs. Modern Traders LLC on Insta and ModernTradersLLC.com. And we do put a lot of work into trying to get these videos out for you daily. So if you get anything out of it, please do remember to like and subscribe. Get us a little love with the YouTube algorithm. So today we're seeing Bitcoin on the ropes after China hits it with a one two punch. Basically the same exact news that we saw a couple days ago, uh, uh, re uh, reinforcement of the China crackdown, uh, you know, following intensification of Chinese authorities crackdown on mining and trading of crypto in China, we see another flash crash, basically the same movement, same opportunity that we saw uh, just a couple days ago for a quick bounce, uh, we'll be watching for support levels to hold, more on that when we look at the grass at the end, but basically uh, why this is happening is that uh, China I mean, officially, China is uh, trying to emphasize orientation toward financial employment, trade, and investment stability, which is, uh, on the surface, you know, makes sense. Uh, Bitcoin, obviously, is, uh, cryptos in general, this is definitely a bubble forming. You know, some things are going to have to happen to keep this stable. However, uh, the second point that China makes is uh, talking about uh, cryptocurrencies have shown enormous volatility, which is the, you know, the official stance, but more, I think it's just about a power grab and about control. I think we'll see it blow over and we just see a bounce like we just witnessed the other day. You can see uh, we peaked uh, just around 10 a.m. before this news came out, uh, just below that 42K level, which is the same uh, level we saw support hold uh, not long ago when we were watching the original downtrend before this news from China's crackdown. And we saw that we immediately dumped out a solid uh, 15 20 percent which definitely uh can qualify as a flash crash and uh we have been trying to hold this uh 37k level here uh but we have just now seen uh bitcoin actually break below that and uh continuing down to try that 36k support and we could see some more downside to the 35k region but i don't think we see much more than that guys i think we see the start to uptrend uh, pretty much immediately after that especially if it's a 35k hold be an excellent entry point on this and pretty much across the board with the crypto markets, um, yeah, pretty much across the board with the crypto markets, uh, you know, they typically, you know, have historically followed Bitcoin pretty exactly. And uh, while there is a little bit more uh, divergence now, we still see that general trend. If there's a big move in Bitcoin, so, uh, looking at Ethereum, we see Ethereum did drop from the 28, 2750 level directly down to 2400 uh support which is a pretty decent support hold it did drop to two grand level uh previously on the uh crash we saw a couple days ago and it did bounce pretty quickly back up to 2600 and now is uh testing support again at that 2400 level and um you know, of course take a little look at dogecoin it's everybody's favorite uh joke meme stock or meme crypto uh same same uh basic setup we saw it sitting at the uh 40 cent level trying to recover and then dump uh, out directly down to 35 cents and below. Now it's trying to hold support at 34 cents. We could definitely see some downside from here. But I just think uh, overall, this is about all we're going to see for the downside. It's uh, similar to the downside we saw before the last recovery. And I think that uh, we should see a pretty good pickup going into the weekend. Um, you know, beware of the typical Sunday sell-off for cryptos. But, I mean, I think right now is a great time to be averaging down and adding to the crypto uh, positions. Like I said, with uh, China news, I don't think this is a permanent issue. I think it's just a power play, and we see that this uh, ultimately blows over and just gives us a great buying opportunity here. But something to keep on your radar, guys. Until next time, I'm Ben. This is Modern Traders. Thanks for stopping by.